Welcome to Bunya Toy Town. G'day mates, welcome to part one of the July 2022 issue of the Bluey magazine. This issue is a cool school issue. There's 20 plus awesome Bluey activities. There's over 90 super fun stickers. Oh wow, there's even a star student reward chart. Oh tee hee, why not read a giggly story? Help that dude drop off. Oh no, he's going to be late. Oi crafty kids, there's heaps of mate makes. Plus, meet the teachers, do some colouring, spot the diffs, mazes and more. Before we crack on, remember to please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button. Come on, let's check it out. First page, time for... Oh look, it's time for kindy and time for school. Tick tock, tick tock. It's time for Bingo to go to kindy and Bluey to go to school. Use your stickies to help Mrs. Retriever and Calypso get the classrooms ready. Roll call. Write your name here, kiddo. My name is Bunya Toy Town. Oh, sweet. This is a sticker page. Come on, let's get our stickies. Let's get the classroom ready. Oh, sweet. We got a block tower. Who made that one? Don't forget Bob Bilby. Who's going to take Bob home next? Ooh, here's one of the Terrier Shields. That's a nice book for story time. We have a crib. Oh, and we also have an early baby. Let's add more decorations to Bluey and Bingo's classrooms. Now give Bluey and Bingo their backpack so they're ready to go. Next page. Oh yeah, it's story time. This month's story is called Mums and Dads. Indy and Rusty can't decide who should go to work and who should stay at home. Indy and Rusty are playing mums and dads. Indy is mum, Rusty is dad, and they have a little baby daughter called Polly. I'm off to work now, bye, mum and dad say at the same time. Mums don't go to work, Rusty says. Mums stay at home and look after kids, says Rusty. Well, dad stay at home and mow the lawn, says Indy. No they don't, says Rusty. Yes, they do, says Indy. Calypso wanders over. This is not how mums and dads behave, she says. Rusty, why don't you go and play mums and dads with Bluey? And Indy, you play with Mackenzie in the sandpit. Well, I'm not playing mums and dads with Indy ever again, says Rusty. I'm not playing mums and dads with Rusty ever again, says Indy. We'll see, he says Calypso. Indy joins Mackenzie at the sandpit. I'm playing mums and dads with you because I'm never playing with Rusty again, she tells him. But Mackenzie doesn't want to play with Polly. He just wants to keep digging holes. Meanwhile, Rusty is playing mums and dads with Bluey. And Bluey makes Rusty her baby instead and puts the bottle in his mouth. Oh Rusty, what have you got yourself into? Indy goes to ask Snickers if he wants to play mums and dads. But he's in the middle of a game of tag. And Rusty is being rocked to sleep by Bluey. I don't want to be the baby, Rusty says. I want to be the dad. Someone stinky, time to change your nappy, says Bluey. Next page. Indy keeps looking for someone to play mums and dads with her way. She spots a terrier and tells him he has to play with her. I do have to do this one thing though, he tries to tell her, but she hands Polly over. Finally, I can get some work done, Indy sighs. Um, says the terrier. But the terriers are in the middle of storming the castle. In the great battle, a terrier and Polly land next to Indy with a thump. Ah, says Indy. Meanwhile, Rusty is getting so annoyed playing mums and babies with Bluey that he runs away. Towards Indy and Polly. Indy, you have to help me. Bluey's gone crazy, he yells. Help, Rusty says. They hide from Bluey inside a sandpit hole. Hello, Polly. Good to see you again, Rusty says. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Indy says. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Rusty replies. Should we play mums and dads again, says Indy. Yes, please, says Rusty. Back at the cosy corner. Indy, I think mums can go to work, Rusty says. So can dads, if they want, Indy replies. So why don't you go to work, she says, taking Polly. No, it's okay, Rusty replies, taking Polly back. What if it's the weekend, they both say. Great idea! Mum Indy and Dad Rusty enjoy a peaceful morning around the cosy corner while Polly has a lovely nap. 
the end. Oh, that was a lovely story. See, you have to learn how to play together. Next page, Calypso and Mrs. Retriever. Let's meet Bluey and Bingo's teachers, Calypso and Mrs. Retriever. Calypso is a mix of colors, orange, gray, black and white. Color her picky. Calypso loves knitting. Draw lines to the matching balls of wool. Oh yeah, we did it. Too easy. Calypso is an awesome storyteller. Add stickies and tell a ripper fairy tale to the class. Once upon a time, there was a queen and a king. They had three beautiful daughters, but one of them was missing. The king said, Oi, Geraldine, where's your sister Mercedes? Geraldine said, I don't know, she is behind us. Maybe she's back hanging out in the forest. The forest, said the queen. Remember I told you not to go to the forest? It's dark and creepy. Well, Mercedes never listened. She always did whatever she wanted to do. Mercedes said, Oh no, where'd my sisters go? I was too busy picking strawberries. How am I gonna find my way home? Mercedes said to herself, Sometimes you gotta stop daydreaming and follow the path. Speaking about the path, which path is the right one to go home? Luckily she saw a stump. Oh yeah, I remember that stump. That's the right way to go home. Mercedes followed the path all the way home. The king said, oh, thank goodness you're safe, Mercedes. Mercedes said, I oh, know, I nearly got lost. By the way, come with me. I found a whole field of strawberries. Oh yeah, said the king. Yeah, said Mercedes. Come on, we're gonna have strawberry pie for dinner. The end. Oh, Calypso, you do tell Ripper stories. Mrs. Retriever has golden fur. Grab a yellow pencil and color her in. I'm gonna use a crayon. Check out Mrs. Retriever's classroom. Tick these things when you find them. I found your castle storybook. Tick that. And that's a nice drawing. I found that. And I found that teapot. Give that a tick. And the last one is a picture of a yellow dog. Gotcha! Mrs. Retriever lets the kids take turns to take Bob Bilby home. Then they show and tell the class about what Bob got up to. Stick on Bob Bilby's book. Nice one. Next page. Daddy drop off. It's a daddy drop-off and the kids are not going to be late, okay? Use your stickers to help keep them on time. This is a sticker page. First, food in gobs. Come on, Bluey. Come on, Bingo. Eat your breakfast. Scarf it down. We don't want to be late. Two, make pack lunches. Gluten-free and gluten-not-free. Come on, Bandit. Get packing. Time's ticking. Let's go! Three, got everything? Get in the car kids, come on, stop mucking about! We don't want to be late! Four, wind up Bingo and drop her off! What time do you have to get to school or kindy, Chook? Ride it here or ask a grown-up to help you ride it. I would say 9am. Phew, running late! Number five, pick up and run! Come on Bluey, hurry up! No time for dawdling! Let's go, let's go! Six, made it! Just a little bit late! Oh yeah, we're not the only one late! Looks like Chloe's late too! Have you ever been late? Tick yes or no! I said yes! Don't worry, everyone's late sometimes! Next page! Skinny trees spotting! Help the terriers find Snickers hiding behind the skinny trees! Can you spot anyone else? Make sure you tick when you spot someone. Oh, who's that? That looks like honey. I can see your glasses, honey. Ooh, that looks like Winton. Ah, you little cheeky bugger, I found ya. Oi, Snickers, that looks like you. I can see your long ears. Oi, Bluey, stop giggling. I can see ya. 
Hey Indy, your hair's too big mate, I can see your hair tie. You better hide that foot Coco, I can easily spot ya. And Chloe, you're barely hiding behind that tree mate. Extra fine, can you spot 10 spotty ladybugs too? Okay, let's give it a go. Hmm, there's one, two, three over there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh yeah! Next page. Say cheese! It's a class photo day. Five things have been added in the bottom pickies. Can you find them all? Color in a piece of cheese when you spot something. Oh wow, this is gonna be fun. Can't wait! First, let's look at Mrs. Retriever's class. What can we find? Hey buddy, nice moustache you got there mate. Oh, that's the first find. That's our first cheese. Or as Bandit would say, cheese and crackers. Or oh, number two, one of the Jaspers has a prawn on their head. Oh, that's an easy find. Someone's playing keepy uppy with a red balloon. On the top right hand corner, there's a nice bright sun. That's not on the top, Picky. That's four cheeses, one more. And bingo, are you wearing granny glasses? What a way to sneak that in the photo. That's five cheeses, what a silly photo. Next is Calypso's class. Help me find the five things in the bottom, Picky. I got one question. Since when was Chattermax part of the class? I think I found one. That's the first cheese for me. Next, let's choose the obvious. There's a ball with a hat. What's that doing there? Who brought that in? Underneath that, there's a dragonfly. It looks like it startled Snickers. Three cheeses. We're on a Swiss roll. <laughs> Number four. Hey, Bluey. Looks like you really love your baked beans, don't you, mate? That's four cheeses. One more. Okay, one more. Come on, help me out here. What is it? What could it be? Um, hmm. Oh, I found it. It's a butterfly clip on Indy's hair. Wait a minute. That belongs to Coco. That's it. We did it. We found all five. Next page. Star student reward chart. Oh, this is a sticker page. And a pull out and put up. Going to school or kindy is a big deal. Add a star sticker to each day you do these tasks. Top tip, stick the stickers to cardboard and cut them out and stick them up to the chart with sticky tack so you can use it week after week. Tell us your name, Squirt. Well, I think you know what it is. It's Bunya Toy Town. Okay, let's have a look at our stickies. Oh wow, have a gander at that. That's amazing. You got so many characters. Look at that. You got John Luke, you got Muffin, you got Socks, there's Missy, and even Pom Pom. Okay, let's have a look at the first task. The first task says, I got ready for school on time. Oh, that's important. You don't want to be late. This is a good task to teach the kiddies about being on time. The next task is, I said hello to my teacher. That's important. You gotta have good manners. It also lets them know that you're there. The next one is, I listen to my classmates. That's important, you gotta learn to listen to each other. The next task, I help to tidy up. I think the rule is, if you play with it, you pack it up. Next one, I had fun with a friend. Ultimately, we just wanna make sure the kiddos are having fun at school. Next, I played a game. You gotta make sure you play properly, you take turns. Next task, I ate my lunch. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, you make sure you eat your lunch. You need the energy to play and learn. And the last one, I told my grown-up all about my day. That's a good one. The grown-ups just want to know if your day was good or bad. They want to know if there's anything that bothered you or if there's anything that made you happy. Thank you for watching part one of the July 2022 issue of the Bluey magazine. If you want to watch more Bluey magazines, Hop on over to Bunya Toy Town's channel and subscribe to watch them all. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part two, and we'll see you next time. From Mum, big Josh, click to subscribe.